the top story tonight. More threats have been made on social media to a local high school. The latest one coming last night. A former Bishop Chittard High School student is accused of making the threats, even violating a court order. News 8's Richard Essex spoke with parents and the school about these ongoing threats. Richard? Well, the school filed a protective order against a former student, Hunter Woolever, last week. Woolever is alleged to have posted another threat on social media last night, violating the restraining order. Just as News 8 arrived at the home where Hunter Woolever is believed to live, a court order stating he had violated a protective order was being delivered. This is the third time the former Bishop Chutard student is accused of making threats against the school on social media. Many of the parents have seen the threats. It gets more intense, and at some point, it's just going to be frustrated and carried out. So time to stop him is now that he's made a more credible threat. After the first two posts, the school kept students away, but not this time. Should there have been school today? Uh, probably not. With the e-learning, I think they can, you know, have the e-learning instead if there's, you know, a concern. I'm concerned. The president of the school, Bill Som, defended the decision to bring students to school today. We've done uh, everything that we believe is necessary to provide this the safety and security uh, for all of our students, faculty, and staff, um, regardless of his status, whether he's in jail, whether he's in counseling and out of jail, uh, whatever wherever he is, we we feel like we've taken the pr proper. Precautions. Chittard is a close knit community. Woolever is still considered part of that community. Sam says they are praying for him in hopes that he gets back on track. And and we would do the same thing if the threat was coming from someone that wasn't inside of our, you know, part, a part of our community. We have made several attempts today to contact Woolover. So far, he has not responded to any of our calls. In the studio, Richard Essex, Wish TV News 8. All right, Richard.